Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Richard Makerson, and I'm very pleased to be here today to represent the Board of Directors of Big Brothers Big Sisters of Metro Atlanta. Today is one of the most important days of the year for this organization. Everybody in this room deserves a round of applause, virtually, of course. I'd now like to introduce our Masters of Ceremonies for today's events, Big Brother Matthew and Little Brother Makai. I want to describe Makai at first when I met him as quiet, cautious, and very observant. Um, but that didn't last long. Um, over the course of time, he has grown into a very confident uh, leader. Um, I credit his mom, his family, and organizations such as Big Brothers Big Sisters as a part of his growth. Makai, I just want to say I appreciate, thank you for allowing me to be a part of your life. And I love you, bro. <laughs> love you too, man. You know, Matthew, as a man, he's, he's been a part of my life for a long time, an extensive amount of time. And I remember when I first met him, I was, I was weary, I was cautious, but Matthew quickly got rid of those doubts. Like he smoldered it, like put like flipping the light switch quick. I got a light switch, he flipped it that quick. Like it's not, is even though this, you know, this program is coming to an end because you're graduating, uh, we will always be, you know, tied together. I will always be there for you no matter what. And I love you always. Love you and too. Oh, I've enjoyed her over the years and feel that our interactions felt natural and not like a chore at all. I love you, my son. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> From this graduating class, we'll be our tomorrow leaders, our lawmakers, doctors, business owners, educators, and so on. Uh, so the Big Brothers Big Sister program allowed me to share with my little, just those smaller tangible uh, things in life, like purpose, confidence, drive. So congratulations. It's just amazing how time flies. It just felt like yesterday I uh, met you for the first time and we had our first handshake. I'm starting off in the program. Um, I was confident in myself, but at first I think I was scared because I never really was being truly who I was until um, further on. And I think that getting help from him really helped a lot because we just we just stuck on motives and we completed goals and got things done what I needed to do. Thank you, man. Miss you, bro. Miss you too. I know Tristan has grown a lot, but I can say that I've probably grown and learned just as much as him. Um, in, in all but one way, and that's physically. When we first started hanging out, he was like down here, and now he's probably somewhere up there. I don't want to admit just how much he looks he looks <laughs> down on me. It's it's pretty humbling. Been really consistently amazed with his growing maturity, his thoughtfulness towards other people, um, the positive influence that he has on his on his friends and, and those around him. Tristan, he, he, you, Tristan, you started out as, as my little, you became my friend and, and now your family. And I'm just, I'm so grateful that, you know, it's, it's been a good run and it's not, you know, yeah, now I get to go watch you run at Georgia Tech. So love you and proud of you, man. I would like to say thank you again to Big Brother, Big Sister. I want to say thank you to my mom for enrolling me in this program. And I want to say thank you, Philip for being an awesome big brother and helping me grow in more ways than I can count. And I wanna say I love you, bro. Back at you. official guys welcome to the big brothers big sisters of metro atlanta alumni family yay it gives me great pleasure to now introduce the graduating matches class of 2020 
I'm Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms, and congratulations to the class of 2020. You will go down in history as the most resilient class ever. Congratulations to you all. What's up, guys? This is Angel McCautry, WNBA player, two-time Olympic gold medalist. And I want to wish all you seniors a congratulations. Hello, everyone. This is Harry Douglas here, a.k.a. an honorary big uh also former Atlanta Falcon and former Tennessee Titan. God, ha God has his plan for each individual. Exercise that plan and be the best you. Hi everyone, this is Mo Adams from Atlanta United. I want to congratulate each and every one of the little brothers and sisters graduating today. I'm so excited to see the incredible things you do in this world as you take this next journey head on. So keep striving for greatness and everyone at Atlanta United is celebrating right along with you. Stay safe and stay healthy. What's up guys, Leroy Reynolds here, linebacker for the Atlanta Falcons and University of Virginia graduate. So take full control of your destiny. Striving each day to get 1% better. Focusing on all things under your control, not the results and not the expectations. Now we'd like to welcome our president and CEO, Kwame Johnson. Thank you. It's been a great uh, session so far. Again, I'm Kwame, president and CEO, of Big Brothers Big Sisters. Honored to be here. So proud of all of our graduates. <clears throat> uh, we are fortunate to have partnered with WellCare again this year to provide scholarships for a few of our seniors. Seniors were asked to submit an essay about why they deserve the scholarship and three recipients were selected. It's my distinct honor and pleasure to bring words of congratulations on behalf of WellCare Health Plans. Uh, the WellCare Community Foundation, in addition to these scholarships, has elected to make a 10,000 donation to Big Brothers Big Sisters Metro Atlanta in support of our mission to inspire and ignite the next generation of Metro Atlanta. We thank you for your continued support as always. So I've, I've been brought on to, to make our closing remarks and I've been thinking a lot about, you know, what to say um, during the times that we have gone on, just being so proud of all the, the seniors are, that are moving to the next level. You'll encounter people in your life that don't want the good things in life for you. You got to keep pushing. You got to keep making things happen. If I can take my SATs behind bars and do all the different things that I've been able to accomplish, you can do it too. I wrote an article this past week about all the issues that have been going around uh, with the police brutality and racism. The title of that article was, You Don't Have to Fear Me. And I told my story about being in jail and now doing youth development in my whole career. And also talked about the work that we do at Big Brothers and Big Sisters and how we bring people together. You saw Philip and Tristan today tell their story. A white man, African-American boy, and now Tristan is off to do great things. I think relationships can change people. I think relationships allow people to learn things they don't know about others. And I want big brothers and big sisters to continue to do this work. You see that I'm wearing a Harvard shirt. And this shirt is, I'm not wearing it today for me, I'm wearing it for you. Because I want you to know that you can do anything you can. You want to put your mind to. You can put on any shirt. It can be a CEO shirt, it can be a Harvard shirt, it can be a Georgia Tech shirt. Whatever you set your mind to, whatever you get, are passionate about, you can make happen. I want to thank the Littles for getting to where you made it to. I dedicated my whole career for this day right here. Because I know if you can get out of high school, if you can get to this point, you're probably going to be okay. And this is where you got to. You got to this point. So now it's on you to make it happen, to not forget my story, to not forget your story and make the best out of your life.